dismiss this uh, for what it is, which is a, a last minute, pretty desperate attack. All right, Tom, we're going to give you the last word there, but you guys are going to stick around. We'll let Kirsten start us off next time because we've got another topic to discuss with you two. If you'll hang around, we'll get back to you in just a minute. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks. All right, President Obama's economic plan is reportedly a success, but that report is coming from Vice President Joe Biden. Opponents are speaking out, putting the stimulus and TARP in the spotlight once again. When the Roller has that story. Months before the end of the stimulus program and days before the end of TARP, the White House had praise for both. The stimulus has been a success. It's created jobs. It's created economic growth. The report on the nearly $800 billion recovery act indicates the White House met its goal of spending 70% of the money in the first 18 months. And that waste and fraud has been just a small fraction of the usual 5% for government projects. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell shrugged off the report, a spokesman saying, quote, I wish I could have graded my own papers in school, too. Economist J.P. Foster doesn't believe we got our money's worth. I don't see that as a particularly good thing. And as you can tell by the economy, uh, an unemployment rate hovering near 10% and uh, growth at uh, 1% or so, uh, it has worked. The White House says the stimulus bill was never intended to fill the employment hole left by the deepest recession in generations, but officials are unable to predict when the private sector will be strong enough to do so. The report aimed to counter the Republicans' pledge to America 